Hello everyone, welcome to our episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris. And I'm Chris. And I'll take so we are taking a look at the official season one trailer for yet another in the chapter of long line of why in television. So in today's case, we're looking at the official trailer for Mr. Mom. Yes, this is a remake series based off the original Michael Keaton uh, mm -hmm. movie, pretty much. And... You don't really... It, uh, IMD says the plot is unknown at this time. We already know the plot. We've seen the freaking original movie, which is pretty good. I don't good. know how they can turn this series. So the, it's, it's, it feels like more they should have... They should have made this into more of a film. You know, remake film instead. So for those who don't know... I'll, I'll explain why I, I'm, I don't really care either way but later. But like... The basic premise for those who don't know is... Um, the main character of the, of the movie... You know, originally yeah. played by Michael Keaton... Yeah. Loses his job... So when his mom, his wife finds a job, she goes off and is the one making bread now. So now he has to take care of the kids while she's at work, pretty much. That's a, so it's such like an original idea. Wow. That's where I'm going to get to is, you know, Mr. Mom kind of started it, but we've already gotten a billion times since in the past... Of different types three of versions, thir three plus much. decades. We've uh, got uh, uh, you know, it's like it's like different versions of you know Mr. Mom, not being titled Mr. Mom, but just it's like you know, of men just taking care of the family or the kids. Or and we've that. seen different variations of it, different versions of it. So I don't get the point of this. Yeah, I, I don't either. So let's get this over with. Let's rip the bandaid off uh, for Mr. Mom, the official voodoo trailer. So here we go. How would you describe our family? Controlled chaos. So happy family of four no-pets. Done. <laughs> Doing that in a soul-crushing nine to five. Maybe it's time for a little change. I'm going full steam on my startup. Pizza mail. Someone else. Uh, Ruby Cut is expanding, and I need to bring on more talent. Maybe in the fall I could come on yesterday. Oh. What about the kids? <laughs> you have to all, wake we've up. all been there before. It's like you have to wake up and you're like, oh, finally go to bed and your alarm goes off. It's so, like, yeah, in the basic general sense, they the only like thing they really make that's different is that he leaves, but to start up his own company at home. Try yeah, to he, wants to, start up. He, wants to, he wants to be an entrepreneur, that's what it is. Yeah, so she actually does go and actually get a job and stuff. That's, and so a, that's, that's, the where, they try, they, that's where they try to change it, but still... Again. It's something we've already seen before in other shows and other films. I mean, there's been so many shows that have come and gone about this. You know, it's not, tr you know, and it just it's nothing original. People, that's what we're getting trying to get to. It's nothing we haven't seen before. There's nothing original, it's, original. It's the biggest problem with this show. It's nothing we haven't seen before. You know. It may have a couple good actors attached as a pair. Mr. Mom was the first one to start it, and from there, that's when we got a bunch more from it. So it's like, that's yeah. why they haven't remade it even to a movie itself, because it's like, okay, we've seen this before. Yeah, so I mean... Yeah, I mean, I guess the Silver Lane, you can watch it for free. The series premiere, at least for free. That's true. They, they weren't clear on that. They said series premiere you could watch for free. They did say the entire series, so be careful on that if you're going to watch this. Yeah. But, um, yeah. It's, it's a huge, huge pass. pass. Yeah, if anybody keeps over TV ranking systems, this is our lowest we'll go. It's a huge pass. <laughs> this is the lowest I No, no. The lowest, lowest we'll go is pass, and don't you dare fucking watch it. For <laughs> it, it's just going to be a pass. 
There's probably this is gonna probably watch promos for it. Like, this is gonna appeal to somebody most likely, but for us, like it's it's a it's just a solid pass. It's a it's a it's a big low. I'm not pass. saying it's gonna be a bad show, but it's something we've already seen a thousand times before, and it doesn't feel like it truly does something different. Yeah, but again, if it starts, I mean, if it gets like set if, up, uh, if it does get sent to have a buzz or people. Are talking about saying it, you know, it is, you know, different or it is, it, you know, it is a good show to watch. We're not saying we will watch it, but it will just bump it up to. Eh, that's the know. other thing, though, is they seem very well off compared to Michael Keaton's family, and Mr. Mom. Like with Michael Keaton's family, and Mr. Mom, you can tell it was a basic middle class family, pretty much. Even in the house they lived in, you saw the kitchen, remember the kitchen, and the way he was ironing grilled cheese sandwiches. You know, and that felt like here they have a really nice kitchen. Their house is a this very is a middle, nicely sized. They're not a middle class family, let's put it that way. So that's the other thing is I don't get a sense that like this is this is desperate times for them. This is just oh I want to leave, and she's like okay I'm gonna start with the company I'm a part you know I want to join yeah and that's it. And the original was like oh I lost my job oh now I have a job or. So young, you have to take care of the kids. Mm -hmm. Like, if it was more of like a modern day version of the original story, like what I just said, it would probably be more interesting. Where she has to handle being part not of, like of the millennial style, because that's the other thing. This is fault that it's like everybody else has already done this already. The millennial will have been to a part yeah. of a millennial generation is more of the still of the woman in the in the men dominated workforce. I would I would prefer to see that instead as well. You know. Yeah. Yeah, but here. No, I just I'm not saying yeah, that. No. So, other than that, if you're new to the channel, you hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else, when it comes to talking about Voodoo Original Series, I don't think I've ever said that on the show. Uh, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. You do that voodoo that you do. Hell yeah. Um, let us know what you guys thought of this trailer overall. If it's the type of series that you love to watch or enjoy or anything like that, or you know that feeling or anything like that, watch the original movie. Um, uh, just, just let us know what you guys thought of this overall. I mean, is it a series that you, are you going to pass on? Are you going to take a chance on? Let us know. I mean, because you probably agree with us where they've done films like this many, many, many times in different types of titles and different types of names, but still, you still think about the OG Miss Michael Keaton's Mr. Mom itself. But let us know. Put down what you thought of our reaction overall. But most importantly, thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And this has been a very Mr. Mom filled episode of SRB. See ya. Later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out your previous reactions, as well as our other shows, click the playlist down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can check us out on Twitter, as well as Stardust at Super React Bros.